Hello, welcome to your special Eclipse Month Tarot and Oracle readings for the month of February. I've already uploaded the monthly forecast videos as well as the Valentine's videos for singles and couples, but I figured you also wanted to know how the eclipses would be affecting the 12 signs as well. As you can see, it's really windy out here in LA and I figured it was appropriate to film this intro outside. One, because you never really get to see my face on this channel, and two, the energy that we're seeing is really telling. We have the winds of change that are upon us and it's sort of foreshadowing the change that we're going to be seeing in February with these eclipses. As a quick announcement, I also wanted to share that I have begun posting to my new Sun Goddess Astrology YouTube channel. So if you're interested in astrology or interested in learning about astrology, you may want to check out some of the videos that I've been creating. I start out at a very basic beginner's level and I intend on posting some more intermediate and advanced videos later on. I'll go ahead and put a link to that channel in the description box below. Cancer, for your Eclipse Tarot reading, I will be pulling six cards from the Rider Waite Tarot deck. The first three cards will be for the Full Moon Lunar Eclipse on the 10th at 4.33 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The second three cards will be for the New Moon Solar Eclipse on the 26th at 6.58 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and you can adjust the time according to your particular time zone. Okay, so I want to begin by saying that everything in the dark eventually comes to the light. During eclipses, the celestial lights go out in the sky, which then they will reveal things that were once hidden in the dark. Full moons generally have to do with culminations or endings, and new moons generally reveal opportunities for new things to commence. On both cases or both circumstances, the energy could appear suddenly. So for you, Cancer, the full moon lunar eclipse will be in your second house. And that's generally the house of earned income, possessions, and values. And the new moon solar eclipse will be in your ninth house of spirituality, philosophy, religion, long distance travel, and higher education. Okay, so you have the Judgment card. To me, this feels like it's relating more. So for the full moon lunar eclipse in your second house. On the 10th. Okay, so this is a rebirth. Something is coming to the surface. When I was talking about things coming to the light, Judgment is about seeing the light here. Okay, I actually feel like it's it's relating to both the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse equally. So it's going, both of them are going to be equally impactful. And another detail that I'm seeing with this card is it's card 20. Uh, yes, it is card 20. So you have the two tens, which means a culmination and a culmination. So culmination times two, right? Both of them will be equally impactful and it could be a very renewing time for you as well. All right, so this is good energy for the full moon lunar eclipse. You have the Knight of Pentacles, which is something that's being offered to you. Generally, it has to do with money, okay? I feel like some of you might want to watch the Aries videos because I believe that these two cards came up for Aries as well. Okay, so there could be some sort of similarity 
Okay, maybe a lot of you have Aries in your chart as well. Okay, anyways, the Knight of Pentacles is something that's being offered to you. Generally, it's like, you know, something solid. It's something physical. It generally represents money, but it could be a gift of some sort. It's a tangible gift. It's also about like steady progress forward. Sudden progress forward could be like a jolt of energy that sort of pushes you forward. This isn't a fast moving energy though. So I'm seeing it sort of like you jump forward two steps and then you're sort of being presented with something here. With the Page of Wands is some sort of you know, offer. This could be a conversation. It's news that's coming in to you. Okay. And it looks like it's positive news. Something additionally that's being added to what you already have going on here. Okay. It feels like an opportunity to me. Okay. Maybe that sudden energy sort of shakes you and you're trying to sort of maintain your footing because the juggler, he's sort of got one foot up in the air and one foot on the ground. So he's trying to sort of, you know, regain his balance. Some of you may be balancing the books in some way since you have the second house of earned income. And I see two here, which would be the second house of income, money. I also see money coming and going. So some of you could be... You know, there's an offer of money coming in, but it's also could be, you know, going out just as easily. So it's like you're having to sort of juggle to maintain that, you know. Um, but I do feel like this has to be like more like with finances and, you know, possessions as well. So we're going to go ahead and look at the new moon solar eclipse on the 26th. Wow. This looks like a wonderful reading. I don't want to mess with it. I don't see any bad cards see a lot of bright things for you. Okay, see, you know, this offer that comes in sort of brightens up your day. Okay, or it could brighten up your week. And I see a lot of yellow here as well. So there is something that you're drawing into you. This is an offer. This is like a, a success, a successful deal. Okay. And I feel like you've now gotten your footing. Okay, because I am seeing like the two feet when I, when I was mentioning one foot's up in the air. Both of them are on solid ground, but you're looking up. And I was also mentioning like a sudden burst forward. You're on this sort of like, well, it's not really a cliff, but it's, I guess it's a hill. And you're looking down. So there is a sense of like having gone up the rung in some way in life. Okay, you're having like an objective view here and you're kind of like thinking about what is possible for the future because, you know, you had a, a small but solid success here. You also have the two pages coming in, which the pages are messengers. They're new energy that flows in. The judgment is the rebirth. Okay, so I actually do feel like this judgment card is you know, sounding the trumpets in a way for like, you know, the messenger, like this is Archangel, who is the messenger? Um, I'm sorry, the name is evading me. But um, this is about like Judgment Day when all of, you know, what I'm seeing is like a call to action, a call to prayer, like some sort of, um, I don't know why I said call to prayer. Maybe it's the ninth house energy of that, like higher spirituality, higher philosophy, like following your guides, following your, what you're being called to do, having some sort of higher purpose. And I'm seeing a lot of magic here around surrounding that. Okay. The magician is like you're able to even draw in more energy. I feel like the energy that's coming in for the lunar eclipse, you're still going to be like recycling this energy and you're still going to be like riding this wave. It's like a high that I'm seeing. Page of Cups is like you feeling, I feel like you're gonna be reviewing all that's happened that's changed within, you know, your financial 
situation or your work situation, but I feel like this is more just like your higher calling, your destiny, you know, your purpose in life, and you're feeling quite accomplished. And this is that card of like reviewing everything. It's like at the end of the day, you're sort of sitting back and like sipping some tea or if you're old enough to drink or if you do drink, sipping some beer or whatever it is. And you're just sort of like recounting what happened, you know, um, reviewing. And I feel like there's almost like a sense of like you're feeling accomplished. You're feeling like a sense of pride around it. I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice to see what else has to be said. I want to roll this one again since it was blocked there. All right. So Pluto would be the judgment card. Things, you know, churning beneath the surface and then coming up. This is that recycling energy. Oh, look, you have the sign of cancer. So your sign and the three, which is the third house of communication. I'm seeing news coming in, important news, but I'm also seeing the three of wands. So I'm going to go ahead and place this here. All right, Cancer. I feel like a lot of you are going to be feeling renewed. I can see that here. You have this sort of fresh energy and it feels good. And I see you sort of basking in that in some way. So whatever comes in, it's extremely positive for you. However that plays out in your specific case, your specific life. But just in general for cancers, I feel like this is very like auspicious time for you to make some changes and clear out some things in order to have like this rebirth, like refreshed is what I'm seeing. Anything with re, since you have Pluto there, reduce, reuse, recycle, that sort of energy. All right. I would like to finally pull a card from the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck. I love this deck so much. It always uplifts my spirits. It's positive energy, positive messages, and they generally come true. Okay, well, what positive thing can the Cancers look forward to? Ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. I definitely see you doing that here with the Page of Cups. Um, yes. I see you taking action here. I see you welcoming something new coming in here. And again, you sort of riding that wave is sort of what I was saying with that um, lunar eclipse energy that comes and sort of shakes things up. And then it's like you're sort of riding this high in a sense. And you're moving forward. In this case, she's like riding what, an orca whale. But she's also sort of diving down deep into this water. Here I see that cup. You know, cup holding water. It's your dreams. And I do feel like the lunar eclipse is going to be a little bit more impactful because if you can see here in the um, two of pentacles card, this tide kind of coming highs and lows and it's like sort of, you know, lunar, the moon energy pulls big bodies of water, right? So it sort of shakes things up, especially on an emotional level. And you're sort of riding that wave of highs and lows and sort of being tossed around maybe by your emotions and it feels like it's good things it's exciting things but it feels like you know with the second you know or I guess the fourth week of the month of February things are sort of settling the dust is sort of settling and things are sort of getting a little bit more smoothed out here but you're ready you're prepared and you're making the most of it with the magician card to sort of renew yourself, renew your plans, whatever it is that you're working on, you're starting, starting over. And it looks um, like you're going to be feeling refreshed. Wonderful. Okay, Cancer, this was your eclipse reading for the month of February. Thank you so much for watching, liking and sharing my videos. And if you have any comments, or additional things that you have seen that you want to add 
feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Your input is definitely welcome. And yeah, thank you so much for subscribing. I will see you in the next videos.